welcome to Paducah. Welcome to the National Quilt Music. We're so happy to have you here today for this Yay. day of celebration. Um, kids, if you came with your families and parents today, it's, this is a great day to talk them into your favorite things to eat. <laughs> After you leave. Um, so if there's a restaurant or a city in particular, it's a good welcome. point. Today's a good day to go. But um, my name's Matt Collinsworth. I'm the CEO here at the museum. And we're so happy to have you. This is, we have been doing this program for more than 25 years. Right. In that time, we've had the honor of showing thousands of pieces made by young people all across America. And I think more importantly than showing them, I think the program has inspired to some level their creative work. And we feel really, really good about that. And there are fabulous pieces all around you today. And it was, uh, this is one of the most exciting shows that we hang each year. Um, all of the staff, everyone is always in here looking at them picking our favorites, and it's, you know, I, I think th this show perhaps provides more joy than anything else we do all year. Um, so without further ado, I will hand things off to Rebecca Glasby, our Director of Education, who is responsible um, for making this happen and does a fantastic job at it. So, Becky. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Matt. And so good to see everybody here, our participants, our families. A big thank you to our families, to our teachers, to our parents, our grandparents, everyone who's supported your kids throughout their creative process with School Block Challenge. I know one of my favorite things year to year is seeing those names, the repeat names, and the families and the teachers that come back year after year. You're learning new skills. We're seeing you know, um, new techniques from kids as they're learning and kind of growing in that creativity and in their quilting skills. But then also there's always new names, new families, new teachers, new states that are being added in or, or different areas. And so that's really what I love about being in quilting, being in education, is kind of expanding that creativity and bringing quilting to new people and getting them excited about creating and being artistic, um, you know, to come through and then being able to showcase all of your blocks here in the museum for not only our staff to marvel at, but our visitors as well. And they come in and they're blown away that blocks are made by a K through fourth grader or a high school student or look how well made this, you know, fifth through eighth grade block is that inspires our visitors as well in their own creative journeys and maybe get them to think about things in a different way and shake things up for those who are coming through and seeing all of your fabulous blocks as well. So we're really excited that you're here. Um, today is also a fun day. It is National Quilting Day. Um, so it's kind of an extra layer of quilting fun and celebration. So we're thrilled to celebrate that by celebrating all of you and your artwork while we are here today. Um, a big thank you also to Moda Fabrics. Of course, they sponsor our contest and provide our three challenge fabrics from year to year and enable us to um, hand out fabric. This year, we handed out 700 packets of fabric um, all across the country. We ended up with 287 quilt block entries, all of those which are exhibited here around us today. 334 students participated in making those quilt blocks from 25 states. So that's half the country represented in this single exhibition of our K through 12 youth art. So very excited for that. Also a thank you to our judges. We choose some local judges from the quilting and the arts community here in Paducah. And they did not have an easy time. They never do, but they definitely did not have an easy time this year choosing um, their, their place winners and their honorable mentions and really kind of looking at all of that creativity, the composition, their use, your use of the challenge fabrics, 
Um, so even if you didn't get a prize ribbon next to your block this year, that does not mean that your block was any lesser than the ones that ended up with those blue ribbons because you've done all the hard work in creating a block, using your imaginations, and bringing something to life that none of us could have done because it was your vision. So congratulations to everyone who has participated. If you haven't been through our reception before, and it's been a couple years since we've done one of these, uh, we will read through all of the names. They are printed in our booklets here, so you're happy to follow along as well. Um, if your name is called, we ask you to please come forward. Matt will have a certificate and a ribbon to hand you. Everybody gets something to show that they were part of our 2022 School Block Challenge contest and exhibition. Um, so if you are here and your name is called, go ahead, stand up, come up here, and then turn around so that your family can get pictures of you with your certificates. Once we've gone through all of the names, all of the blocks, we will do a group photo of our participants, and then um, we will have time that you are welcome to chat about your blocks, talk with our videographer, Danny, who's taking photos and video as well. If any of you are interested in being on camera talking about your quilt block, telling us a little bit about your process, definitely see Danny at the end, and we will make that happen. We'd love to hear from our quilt artists anytime that they come to visit. I will apologize in advance if I mispronounce any of your names. There are a lot of them, but we will do our best to go through and we will start with our K through fourth grade category. Our first entry was Vine of Flowers by Lydia Bates. Congratulations. <laughs> Entry 101, Lego by Bertie Curran. Fireworks at the Flood Wall by Adam Kirchner. My Crazy Puppy by Clara Crawford. My Dog Moxie Likes Camping This Year by Raina Schultz. I'm always amazed too at the creativity of the block titles that they put into it. Entry 105, The North Star by Brielle McDonald. Sunset Bears by Easton Baker. The Caring E by Evelyn Reese. Rainbows Make Me Happy by Isabel Foster. There she is. Congratulations. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Entry 109, My Dream Classroom by Lydia Hoffman. Wildfires Hurt by Mason Westbury won second place in the K through fourth grade category. Picnic Square by Hannah Shaw. Be Speakable by Dakota Kirby. Heart of Destiny by Christina Meshter. Lovely Heart by Jordan Blackwell. Rocky Mountain Puzzle by Florence Burbank won an honorable mention in this category. Becky's Joy by Maddie Pettigrew. Imposter by Zachary Pettigrew won an honorable mention in this category. You will definitely need to take a close look at that block and figure out where the imposter is. One Big Flower by Bethany Pettigrew. Sunset Zebra by Kean Nolan. Congratulations. <laughs> it's like quilt paparazzi when you're here. <laughs> Gotta look at all the cameras. Geometric and Organic Shapes by Elsie Moran, Lillian Poole, and Torin. Geometric and Organic Shapes by Leona Lima, Brianna Arnold, and Grayson Hopped. Geometric and Organic Shapes by Lance Cannonberg, Chloe Galeski, Nell Medlin, and Jayla Pryor. Geometric and Organic Shapes, number 123, by Ayla Fuller, Eva Messer, Trayson Chandler, and Riley Valeroy. Geometric and Organic Shapes by Aiden Casacova Rubius, Jackson Sanders, Chiara Wiggins, and Bailey Polk. Mermazing Mermaid by Sunny Ray Miller. The Two Unicorn Friends by Jada Renville. Book and Cover by Patrick Gaffigan. My Smart Best Friend by Margaret Rice. 
Mountain Views by Vera Sasso. The Heavens Declare the Glory of God by Macy Spencer, one third place in this category. Fly Away Butterfly by Liliana Seal, won first place in the K through fourth grade category. Come right on up here. Congratulations. The Playground by Chase McGee, American Hawk by Zayden Wonka, Roasting Marshmallows by Lily Purser, Summer with My Family by Javier Bautista, Christmas by Gabriella Reynolds Catan, Jelly Bean Party by Emery Futrell, The Strip Block by Isaiah Futrell, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot by Claire O. Oh. From Sea to Shining Sea by Michaela de Pasquale. So Many Dots by Juliana Belli. The Book and the Fox by Asmara Hoffman. Bored Boy Pranks Villagers, He Learns a Very Shocking Lesson by Elise Block. What If You Had Animal Feet by Joseph Messi. The Tower by David Donner. Dreams by Kylan James. Nighttime by Robin Price, Hills by Tess Hagel, Holy Communion by Catalina Avacito and Audrey Schilling, King Arthur by Ethan Wilkerson, Championships by Poppy Haywood, The Trip to the Arch by Alana Etling, Day at the Beach by Drew Curry, My Wish by Stella Hart, the Aircraft with Arch and Spirit of St. Louis by Cam Badenet. Under the Sea by Lizzie Funk. Sparkle the Shooting Star by Peyton Weiler. Grandmother's Fan by Savannah Williams. Girl That Loves to Read by Lydia Anderson. Laura and Mary Starting to Walk to School by Grace Anderson. Chicken in the Coop by Violet Faradock won an honorable mention in this category. Cat Visiting Horse in Barnstall with Posy Flowers by Haley Rose Abner. The Seasons by Lily Thomas. A Sea of Possibilities by Emma Thomas. The Lines by Gunnar Ramsey. Save the Forest by Nora Kelly. We All Matter by Amelia Kelly. The Super Beach House by Ariadne Smith. Sounds good on a day like today. Falcon Branch by Finn Miller. From the Back by Avit Miller. The Fairy Village by Elizabeth West. Stay Happy by Skylar Lucas. Rectangles and Squares by Macy Haskin. Drake the Ice Dragon God by Colson Hughes. Sewing USA by Abigail King. Bunnies in Love by Emily Alper. The Color Wheel by Amelia Mead also won an honorable mention in this category. Shapes and Colors and Sizes by Emma Rell. My Loves by Abigail Ray. Emily Loves Cats by Emily Ray. I Am a Star by Corey Sphinx. Star by Zion Grace Meadows. Squares and Rectangles by Marley Ann Meadows. My Blocks by Nathan Perry. Half Square Triangles and Hearts by Nurea Smith. Let It Snow by Jordan Driscoll. Enchanted Forest by Sophie Hennessy. Change Can Be Beautiful by Olivia Dominguez. Kanai River by Carter Stevens. Scarlet Mutton Chops by Gigi Kembro. Crazy Candy by Odessa Fettig. A Cheetah in the Savannah by Lily Lockridge. The Sun and the Moon by Andromeda Beavers. Spring Has Sprung by Harper Ingalls. About Reading with Imagination by Carson Turbiak. Harry Potter Hogwarts House Crest by Sidney Moore. The Four Fish by Bronson Wilcox. Judah's Fire Dragon by Judah Cooks. Kindly Magical by Parker Edgerton. 
Dancing Among the Stars by Charlotte Benson, I'll Fly Away by Zoe Nutter, Letter from Home by Sam Langenberg, Minecraft by Wyatt Meadows and Race Welch, Among Us by Tylen Batten, Wilmer Pacheco, and Cadence Siebers, Social Media by Ellie Ledbetter and Macy Ramsey, Super Pancake by Louis Walters, it's Vacation Time by Marion Hirado. We'll give a round of applause for our K through fourth grade participants. Our fifth through eighth grade category, typically most years is our largest category. And it's always fun to see how some, some of you grow from the K through fourth, kind of your first introduction into quilting, or maybe your very first time getting in there and working with all of the fabrics and tools that come together. We start with entry number 300. All Year Square by Jameson Kirchner, The Kitty by Annie Deacons, Modern Vibe by Kylie Crawford, Block Number One by Molly Maria Deckelman, Firecracker by Lily Cox, Ringo by Myra Miner, Blue and Yellow Skies by Delilah Massey, Winter Soldier by Ree Barnes, Ashley Pinder, Blocky by Rory Walters, Ocean Spirit by Lily Bull, Holiday Fun by Bailey Kelly, Lighthouse Wishes by Sydney Fletcher, The Tom Tin by Elias Baker, Lucy My Pony by Stella Dell, Come on up. Congratulations. Entry 314, Peaceful Foxfire by Jasera Crenshaw. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> Floating Around by Maeve Ballinger. 316, The Happy Zebra by Brazen Reese. Churn Dash Party by Emma Dowell won second place in the fifth through eighth grade category. Congratulations. Day at the Museum by Callie Bodges. My Bookshelf by Mabry Alexander. I Love Science by Kaylin Kingston. A Day at School by Anna Roeder. Cat Christmas by Zoe Foster. Oops. Went too quick for you. Kaylin? Congratulations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 323, The Final Frontier by Paris Foster. Congratulations. Heart of Time by Abrielle Stafford Dietz. Fish Middle School by Samuel Hutchinson. Congratulations. Mandala Maze by Abby Hutchinson is our grand prize winning block this year. Congratulations, Abby. <laughs> Imagination on a Shelf by Samantha Small. The Window Pane Colors by Asher Ahrens. Flower Vase Flower Base by Kaysen Ahrens won an honorable mention in this category. Leaves Grow Like Love by Michael Gaffigan. Polar Bear Walking by Marion Sasso. Family Fun by Cody Gilbert. Coraline by Melanie Mua won third place in this category. Winter at My Aunt's House by Billy Schrader. Winter's Night by Paige Friedland. Family Camping by Sylvia Van Hefty. Around the Corner by Elizabeth Greider. 
A Fox in Fall by Gloria Myers. Talent Show by Katie Bishop. Windmill by Stella Shelton. Snow by Allison Thomas. Grandma and Papa's House by Tenley Barnett. Pumpkin in the Field by Sophia Toller. Muir Than Meets the Eye by Elise Banstra. Crazy Fox by Zeke Futrell. Swarm of Butterflies by Annie Futrell. The Owl Amongst the Mountains by Xavier Futrell. Shooting Star by Fail Dunbar. Day and Night by Avery Benson. Flying Geese by Ruby Ballesteros. Diamond Star by Penelope Leifun Guang Rita Rennie. Cabin Beneath the Stars by Marin Bernodos. Crossroads in the Sky by Abigail Helen Coppice. Be Kind by Lainey Byer and Janie Cartwright. Congratulations. Not Everyone's the Same by Jenna Bell and Dorley Mycius. Make America Proud by Karina Schaefer. Retriever by Toby Janes. Softball Player by Kristen Halbrick. Cabin in the Mushroom Forest by Cheyenne May. The Book That Lived by Faith Jansen and Amelia Dorr. The Magical Forest by Emma Tyler and Lila Griffin. Morals by Marianne Imhoff and Karina Jerkatis. The Illusion of Self-Control Over the Mind by Joseph Wynn. Hands by Maria Haake. Wonder World by Anna McGill. Save the Bees by Avery Millier. Upside, Downside, Inside, Outside by Kayla Jerkatis. Overcoming Your Fears by Lily Braun. The Most Famous by Grace Jansen. Gladys Williamson by Jack Williamson. The, Depart the Departure by Nicholas Wall. The Forgotten Message by Claire Watchell. Pure Excitement by Keely Cooper. Starry Night by J.C. Jackson. Happy Faces by Eleanor Najeko. My Puppy by Chloe Mason. Pinwheel by Grace McCluskey. The History of Female Authors Block by Taylor Harris. The Story of Deliverer by Sebastian Avicido. A Day in Fall by Liliana Solash. Lady Liberty by Ruby Faradoc. Music Makes Emotion by Cecilia Givens. Fat Kermit by Preston Ellis. Silly Kitten Playing with Yarn Ball by Caitlin Abner. Multicolor with Moon and Bats by Clayton Goodman. Under the Tree by Bo Hurtwick. Jesus in the Sky by Jada Grayless. Patterns by Marshall Ilmer. Bee Ball by Bodie Ott. Cat by Evan Bake. Four Square by Wyatt Tinsley. Four Block by Dylan Gaynor. Read by Claire Wallace. <coughs> Together We Rise by Meg White. Fish in a Pond by Sage Marvin. We Have a Choice by Benicio Oriana. Our Growth by Akimi Lopez. Different Hearts by Violetta Sagawa. Grandma's New Garden by Aisha Saul. My Pride by Betsada Garcia. Awakening by Lauren Gamble. The Tale of the Lonely Bird by Alani Sanginthirath. Anything But Regular by Emmy Magana. Moon and Sun by Emma Digion and Naonika Panacheri won first place in the fifth through eighth grade category. Untitled by Jamie Coleman. Chinese New Year by Grace Trees. Super Cat Protector by Camille Smith. The Lonely Picnic by Shayla Perry. Farm Memories by Reagan Casper. One Day in Paris by Jalen Opengo. Born to Dance by Jenna Bauman. Seasonal Run by Abigail Bauman. The Jesse Tree by Elijah Dominguez won an honorable mention in this category. 
The Power of Story by Anna Dominguez. The Lord is My Shepherd by Abigail Switzer. When I Am Alone by Aviana Johnson. Prairie Sunset by Jay Stevens. Running Free by Callie Stevens. Reading is Dreaming by Hallie Oberman won an honorable mention in this category. Pointed Stars by Allison Stoughton. Runway by Sydney Stormer. Sun and Moon by Katherine Johnson. Flowers in Bloom by Simone Glasser. Operation End COVID by Joseph Glasser. Spread Your Wings and Fly by Chloe Melton. Little House on the Prairie by Penelope Wittick. Peace in the Woods by Cecilia Langenberg. Life by the Sea by Claire Spurgeon. Encourage Others by Heather Harper. It's My Birthday by Kira Cole. Deer by Carson Wood. Big Man Patrick by Sydney Stringer. The Three Hills of Saints by Riley Wood. Bleeding Words by Caden Skeen. Aiden's Donut by Aiden Weisenhunt. Open Book by Raylan Bone. Day at the Beach by Jackson Redford. Orange Peel by Charlotte Lynn. The Little Things by Alexandra Harado. Our ninth through 12th grade category, starting out with number 500, Geometrical Space Travel by Hadassah Shaw won an honorable mention for this category. The Handwritten Note by Ruthie Hutchinson won an honorable mention in this category. Congratulations. <laughs> Things About to Happen by Anna Ahrens. Direction in a World of Confusion by Owen Banstra. Words Open Portals by Bela Morgan won first place in this category. A Home Like Ours by Paige Lauren Kite. My Inspiration, Mrs. Fetcho by Jacob Whitworth. Jigsaw Puzzle by Holden Elke. You Are My Sunshine by Carly Brand won third place in this category. Ocean of Words by Donna Riddle. Spread Your Wings by Sarah Hall. The Reader by Linda Masters. Rising Mountains by Kelsey Johnson. Infinity and Beyond by Elizabeth Becerra, McKaylee Ayers, Alexis Somerville, and Allie Thomas. Jurassic World by Brooklyn Kenrick, Micaiah Long, Harley Strand, and Allie Thomas. Tranquil Meadows by Sarah Beth Driver, Hudson Jones, Riley Ramey, and Shelby Whitman. This Is Us by Asley Sharpton, Mallory Head, Kumar Ramis Roop, Jesse Wilson, and Kristen Campbell. Lost Numbers by Paige Roberts, Grace Jones, and Jace Deniger. Our Universe by Haley Clark, Gracie Mills, and Autumn Pearson. Steps to Success by Nevaeh Smith, Kaylee Seegers, Caitlin Harris, and Niasia Kamen. On the Road to Success by Hallie Davis, Kelsey Jones, Haley Powell, and Laura Waddle. Reading is the Window to the World by Lydia Arnold, won second place in the ninth through 12th grade category. Congratulations. Freddy the Hedgehog by Raven France. 100 Year Anniversary of Disneyland by Kayla McCarter. Fairly Odd Parents by Lucas Wallace. Quilt of Many Colors by Chesney Sheets. Church in the Woods by Don Pulliam. Dragonfly in a Pond by David Smith. Somebody's Watching Me by Landon Johnson. The Trippy Caterpillar by Emily Pierce. Nature Gnome by, Bar by Mari Jane Watring. White Castle by Courtney McDaniel. Hummingbird by Amory Izzard. The Llama by Rihanna France. The King by Landon Spoonmore. Dragon by Sheila Brown. Don't Touch My Hair by Nandi Bertha. The Mad Hatter by Charmaine Anderson. Midnight Cruise by Charlie Redford. Congratulations again to all of our 2022 School Block Challenge participants. A big thank you to our sponsor, Moda Fabrics. And we look forward to seeing all of your fantastic entries in the 2023 School Block Challenge, which will kick off in August.